Let's take a look at our eighth problem type uh, where we use the quotient rule. In our first example, we have uh, 4x squared plus 8x minus 1 over x squared minus 3x. Uh, top part is our p and the bottom part is our q. We need p prime, so the derivative of this will give us 8x plus 8 and derivative of the denominator will give us 2x minus 3. And our formula is p prime q minus p q prime over q squared. So p prime we said was 8x plus 8. Uh, q was x squared minus 3x minus p which was 4x squared plus 8x minus 1 times q prime which was 2x minus 3 all over q squared which is x squared minus 3x to the second power well let's simplify this a little bit now I could factor an 8 out of this 8x plus 8 I could factor an x out of this but uh, to be honest it wouldn't I can't factor anything out uh, of both groups here because uh, this is our first group and this is our second group. When I say groups we have 8x plus 8 times x squared minus 3x and we have this times this. Everything's multiplication in there. So about the only thing I can do is through brute force just multiply everything together. Um, so 8x uh, times x squared gives us 8x to the third. 8x times negative 3x gives us negative 24x squared. 8 times x squared is 8x squared, and 8 times negative 3x gives us negative 24x. Minus 2x times 4x squared gives us 8x to the third. 2x times uh, 8x is 16x. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. Negative 3 times 4x squared is negative 12x squared. Negative 3 times 8x is negative 24x. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. Over this. Now let me double check my work there. Um, 8x to the third minus 24x plus 8x squared minus 24x. 8x to the third plus 16x squared. Ah. 16x squared. Okay. Minus 2x. Minus 12x squared. Minus 24x. Um, plus 3. Okay, that looks better. Sometimes when you have a lot to multiply it together, I don't feel very comfortable with that, so that's why I double check myself. Combine together like terms. Negative 24x squared plus 8x squared gives us negative 16x squared minus 24x minus, I combine together like terms here, so we've got 8x to the third. 16x squared minus 12x squared gives us 4x squared negative 2x negative 24x is negative 26x plus 3 <coughs> over all this well remember uh, a negative out in front of your parentheses flips the sign of everything so this becomes a negative 8x to the third minus 4x squared plus 26x minus 3 over this. <coughs> okay. Now combine together like terms. 8x to the third minus 8x to the third drops away. Negative 16x squared, negative 4x squared is negative 20x squared. Um, negative 24x plus 26x is plus 2x minus 3 over this right here. Now I could factor an x out of this bottom part uh, and simplify that. It wouldn't benefit us a whole lot. So I got negative 20x squared plus 2x minus 3. Now when I factor out an x, it becomes x times x minus 3. Now all of this is still to the second power. 
So then this becomes negative 20x squared plus 2x minus 3. And we'll right take that second power and this is the second power. So we've got x squared times x minus 3 squared. Um, and that's our answer. Let me save this. And let's look at our next problem. We've got f of x is equal to 7x squared minus 3x minus 2 over x squared minus 5x. Now this is going to be our this is a quotient rule. So this is P and this is Q, so we need P prime, which would be 14x try it again, 14x minus 3 and Q prime will be 2x minus 5. Now our formula is P prime Q minus P Q prime over Q squared. So P prime was uh, 14x minus 3 times Q, which was uh, x squared minus 5x minus P, which was 7x squared minus 3x minus 2 times Q prime, which was 2x minus 5, all over Q squared, which is the x squared minus 5x squared. Um, nothing I can factor out on top, so just multiply through again. 14x times x squared gives us 14x to the third. 14x times negative 5x gives us negative 70x squared. Uh, 0 to, yeah, negative 70x squared. Negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. And negative 3 times negative 5x gives us a positive 15x. Um, let me double check this. There. Minus 2x times 7x squared gives us 14x to the third. 2x times negative 3x gives us negative 6x squared. 2x times negative 2 gives us negative 4x. Negative 5 times 7x squared gives us negative 35x squared. Negative 5 times negative 3x is positive 15x. And negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. Fourteen x to the third minus six x squared minus four x minus thirty five x squared plus fifteen x plus ten. Okay, that looks right. We'll combine it together some like terms. Negative seventy x squared, negative three x squared gives us negative seventy three x squared plus fifteen x minus fourteen x to the third. Negative 6x squared, negative 35x squared gives us negative 41x squared. Negative 4x plus 15x is 11x plus 10 all over this. Now I'm going to go ahead and split this up here. I'm going to factor out an, an x. And that gives us x minus 5. And up on top here, the negative out in front of that parentheses flips the sign of everything inside. So that becomes a negative 14x to the third plus 42x squared minus 11x minus 10. And here I'll take both of these as the second power. So we've got x squared and x minus 5 squared. And uh, double checking myself, I see an error. Maybe it's time for me to go to bed. Okay, negative 14x third, negative 41, or positive 41x squared, minus 11x, minus 10. Okay, now combine together like terms. 
the 14x third minus 14x third drops away. Negative 73x squared and 41x squared gives us 32x squared. Negative 32x squared. I'm just double checking myself. 73. Okay, 15x minus 11x is 4x. And then minus 10 over x squared and x minus 5 squared. And that's our answer. I think that was our second problem. Yep, so we're done with that problem.